Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxana's Daily Rambles. Today we are doing Supergirl Season 1, Episode 15 called Solitude. So to start off with a flashback where uh, Kara is leaving the Phantom Zone. And she's just remembering some more about that. And then her alarm goes off. And then when, um, Alex gives her donuts um, at her apartment. And then Kara is still mad at John. For what he did, but really Alex did, but she doesn't know that. And then we see that Kat got a fun drive full of other accounts from a website that basically uh, put powerful people on blast through an adulterous website. Uh, Kat tells Siobhan to melt it, and she's kind of like, uh -huh, what? And then we have Alex's training, and then we have a hacker basically um, hacks Catco and puts City in disarray. And then we, so we cut to where Supergirl is saving people, and the reason why the hacker is doing this is because she, because Cat Grant didn't use the thumb drive with all the information on it. And then Lucy confronts James about Supergirl, and turns out it's uh, Brainiac Eight. And I forgot what they actually, I think they call her something. Hang on. I forgot the name of it. Hang on. But they call her Indigo. And we're going to try to focus this camera. <laughs> and so Indigo's behind it. And so the DO helps out and calls her, yeah. So then Nine tracked her down. And basically she started some craziness. <laughs> And basically, we see Siobhan's backstory, where basically her dad was a cheater on the mom, and on her mom, and Siobhan caught them, and basically gets this whole like, pity party, I think, to win. So then Alex uh, talks to Win and needs him, and then we have Kara goes to the Fortress of Solitude, where they get info on Myriad, Myriad with James. Then Lucy is mad at James for missing dinner. And then Cara talks to Lucy. And then Cara basically overshared about James, about the camera, because she didn't know about that entire story with the camera. And then Lucy got info on Indigo. So Indigo is after a general to launch nukes. And then Indigo gets in, and she launched a missile. A missile. So Super is Supergirl versus Indigo, and then uh, Supergirl versus the Nuke. Because basically, what Wind did is he basically learned Kryptonian and Brainiac information and put a virus in her system. Yeah. And so it's Supergirl versus the Nuke. So uh, Supergirl managed to stop it. Literally, you know, from maybe. 50 miles away from Metropolis. And then, <clears throat> so she stopped it. Then we have Supergirl versus Indigo. She managed to get overcome the virus. And so, Wynn gives her another one. And so she basically helped her escape through the Phantom Zone. And basically, um, that's how she escaped the Phantom Zone, is through Brainiac 8 or Indigo's help. And then Wynn talks to Siobhan and, um, they make out. Then Carr said that James can tell her. Uh, and then Lucy breaks up with him before he can do that. Then Alex comes clean about um, Astra. And they hug it out. And then Non retrieved Indigo. So apparently he used to have a thing or something. And yeah. That's the end of the episode. I will give this I'll give this a A minus. <laughs> just a straight up A, actually. Um, it was a pretty good episode. There's just a couple little things in there, just like, mm, okay, you just kind of just said that for plot, but whatever. Anyway, it was a really good episode. I really liked it. It was really enjoyable. You could learn more about Brainiac, Brainiac people, and how they work, and just everything about it. It was really good. I really enjoyed it. So. That's the end of the episode, so if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, to tell me what you think of the episode, do you agree, disagree, and if you have any other suggestions for any other shows, music, or movies, also let me know down below, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye, everybody.